Hi, my name is Chris Tilley, Instructional Technologist at the College of Charleston, and today we're going to be talking about the OAKS discussion feature and how you can assess topics and how you can link them to your gradebook. So we're going to go to the pull-down menu next to the topic and select Edit Topic. And you'll see we have some tabs up here that might look familiar if you've used the Assignment Dropbox feature in OAKS. You can add restrictions such as availability, Another thing you can do is you can create an assessment component, which basically means that you can add it to your grade book and you can grade them on it if you like. Uh, I had already created a discussions category and a discussions post, but of course, if you have not done that yet and you want to, you can just go over here to your new grade item and create one that way. And here, of course, is where you can do your score. So uh, I'm going to save and close. And now you'll see under the weekly readings that we have this uh, icon that says that I am going to include an assessment. So let's assess the topic. You'll have, uh, since, since this is an open, uh, discussion topic. Both of my students are able to see it and I can go to topic score for let's say TLT student. Now I didn't write anything but uh, this is where it would be if I had and I can come up here to the top right of that new window and I can give them uh, whatever I think their score ought to be and if I want to give them some feedback, I can. And I can publish that right there. Now, if I don't necessarily want to go to the trouble of grading it, or if I don't think that the discussions merit a grade, then I can keep track of the students without grading them by going to View Topic Statistics. When I go to View Topic Statistics, here I can see uh, the number of replies and threads and so forth of each of my students. So if I've had, let's say five topics, uh, or excuse me, five threads, uh, and I expect them to reply once to each one, then I would hope to see four or five in this uh, column here. Now, if I want to view a student's submissions to see if they're giving me some good content, but without actually having to go through the entire topic, I can come up to communication and I can go to my class list. And from here, I can go to this pull down menu next to my student's name and I can view their progress. And you'll see here, uh, there's a, uh, a list here on the left and discussions is one of the items there. And here I can really look and see what they've done. Well, that concludes our video tutorial on the OAKS discussion feature. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your instructional technologist or email tlt at cfc.edu.